begging for a tip mate to get off the end of it. And what a great finish it is. Perfect body is it. He strikes it so well. What an excellent finish. Hello and welcome back to the channel, my name's Alad for Set Play Gaming. This is the West Brom career mode. It's the Road to Glory with AD Boothroyd, Season 6, the final episode, 133. I'd do one final episode today just to wrap things up before we move on to EAFC. Uh, so coming up in today's episode, I am not going to be playing any games. I'm just literally going to be simming the final six. This is what we've got on tap. Starting with the game against Brentford on the 16th, we're then going to travel to Nottingham Forest away. We've also got to play Aston Villa, and that will close out April. We then have three more games in May. I'm going to switch over to that calendar and play those as well. Manchester City away, Liverpool away, and finishing the season with a game against Leeds at home on the 21st of May. We're going to sim those, and then we're going to do a squad report and finalise everything and have a look at A.D. Boothroyd's career. I hope you enjoy this uh, final wrap-up session, and uh, let me know in the comments what you think. All right, let's jump into these results. A 2-2 draw against Brentford to kick things off. And you can see here, Tavernier on 9 minutes with the goal for us, and then Bellingham on 71 to rescue us as we were 2-1 down after Palistri's goal. And jumping into the next game as we take on Nottingham Forest. This is away. We'll just quick sim this one as well. And we get a 2-0 win thanks to Daniel and Sheikh Dukure. A good win there at the city ground. You can see there are some pretty good ratings as well which is most unusual, usually you get slated on those ratings. And the next game is Aston Villa. We're going to be playing at home at the Hawthorns. Hopefully get a good result here against these. Oh, we go down 1-0. Um, Barry with the goal after 9 minutes. Not good ratings this time. That's our first loss actually since the Chelsea loss back in episode 131. So we've actually done pretty well. We've almost gone um, a month without losing at all in the Premier League, which isn't bad for a team of our stature. And I'm sure we would have got different results, much different results had we have played them. Manchester City away at the Etihad. Let's see what we can get here. And a 2-2 draw, I'll take that. Tavernier on 49 minutes and Devisholu. We're actually 2-1 down after Inkapi had scored. But Devisholu rescues a point for us on the 74th minute. Definitely take that against Manchester City. Again, not good ratings across the board this time. That's one of the reasons why um, I've not been a big fan of using the sim feature we're just using it really to finish off this career mode and I'm going to take on Liverpool away at Anfield probably expect a loss here we get a 1-1 draw and Devisholu again to the rescue for us on 37 minutes and Nico Gonzalez um, actually equalised on 83 minutes so we were leading 1-0 um, not good ratings to the centre backs there or Campbell who came on and the final game taking on Leeds United at home let's see what happens here this is a 2-2 draw as well Garen Kowal and Tavernier with the goals and Lazaro and Statch for Leeds and we finished the season with 14 draws in the end and only 10 defeats, which is very, very respectable indeed. Certainly let me know in the comments what you think of our season. And so now we'll take a look at the finishing league positions. And you can see here, Spurs won the title by 9 points. It's a pretty convincing win, actually. Um, City finishing second with 5 losses. They actually scored 74 goals, so Spurs were the top scorers. I know Julian Alvarez was actually playing for Spurs. He scored a lot for them this season. 
we actually finished eighth. You can see us there in the table. 14 wins, 14 draws, 10 losses. Isn't a bad season for us. Could have done a little bit better with the goals against, but you know, there's quite a few of those at the end there where um, you know the sim kind of uh, worked against us, but we had to get the season finished. Uh, City, Chelsea and Liverpool in the top four. If we drop into mid-table, Wolves, not a bad season for them. And Forest as well, certainly 10th. Leicester City in 12th. As we push a little bit further down, you can see Everton with 22 losses. Aston Villa with 22 losses. Not a good season for them. And Fulham uh, conceding, shipping in 71 goals. That is horrendous um, for them. And only eight wins all season. I'm surprised they even managed to stay up. Brentford 16th. And as we drop into the bottom part of the table, into the bottom four, you can see Watford relegated, Leeds relegated, and Brighton. It's a surprise to see them relegated. Sheffield United just about hung on there. Um, I don't think you can disagree that those teams that were relegated didn't deserve to be there. They're pretty shocking, really. And now for the Cups. The FA Cup winner is Manchester City. They beat the league winners, Spurs, 4-3 on penalties after drawing the game 1-1. So City didn't manage to win the league this year, but they did manage two Cups. Now, if you was with us in episode 130, you would have seen that we made the Carragher Cup final and we lost 2-1 to City at Wembley. Um, if you haven't watched that, go back and watch it. It's a really good episode. That would have been back on episode 130, so only a few episodes back from this on the playlist. Not a bad season for AD Boothride. Um, eighth place and a cup final at least. All right, so now we're going to take five minutes just to look at the contributions of each player over the course of the season. This is the season six squad report, starting with Bernd Leno, down by three to 77, made 33 appearances with 10 clean sheets. Not bad by the aging German. And then second, Bailey Peacock Farrell, up one to 73, is now 31 years of age, made 15 appearances with six clean sheets in all competitions. And Griffiths spent the season on loan at Brentford. Uh, 13 appearances, one assist, three clean sheets for him, with an average rating of 6.5. Moving now to the left backs, Tymon uh, stayed at 78, 21 appearances, two assists, eight clean sheets for him. And then moving on to Claudio Bravo, but up one to 77, the Argentine fullback made 19 appearances, two assists, and three clean sheets. Uh, with one yellow card, average rating 6.5. Harry Tofolo going to retire, 73 overall, 17, um, 17 appearances, one assist and six clean sheets for him. Jack Stacey at right back, 17 appearances for him, one goal and three clean sheets, one yellow card, stayed at 75. And then Dylan Sharp, 24 years of age, stayed at 75, 22 appearances, nine clean sheets, an average rating of 7.1. And Bart Van Roy, the Dutch fullback, stayed at 72, 13 appearances, four clean sheets, an average rating of 7.1. Onto the centre backs, Dara O'Shea, up one to 78. 36 appearances, 11 clean sheets for him, average rating 7.1. Ross McCrory up 1 to 77, 35 appearances, 11 clean sheets, uh, 3 yellow cards, 1 red card, average rating 6.9. Yanis Mikalidis up 1 to 79, 35 appearances, 5 goals, 1 assist, 11 clean sheets and 3 yellow cards, average rating 7.2. Ishmael Ducure uh, up 2 to 74, 10 appearances, 3 clean sheets, average rating 7.3. And Jack McMillan up 2 to 64, 10 appearances, 2 clean sheets, average rating 6.6. .6. On to Ab Abkar Lubadi Sila up 1 to 78, 8 appearances, 3 clean sheets, 1 yellow card, average rating of 7. And Isaac Hayden down 4 to 72, a season blighted by injuries and retiring, average rating 6.1 after just four appearances. And Alistair Barkley 
stayed at 70, 9 appearances, 4 clean sheets, 1 yellow card, average rating of 7.2. Dan Neal up 1 to 78, he made 33 appearances, 3 goals, 4 assists, 10 clean sheets, 5 yellows, average rate in 6.8. Sheikh Decore up 1 to 79, 37 appearances, 3 goals, 6 assists, 11 clean sheets, 4 yellows, average rate in 6.8. Joe Bellingham up 3 to 76, 28 appearances, 6 goals, 5 assists, 9 clean sheets, an average rating of 6.8. Idris El Mizuni stayed at 69, uh, 17 appearances, 5 clean sheets, no goals, no assists, 3 yellow cards, average rating 6.5. Philip Owusu up 1 to 66, 14 appearances, 2 clean sheets, no goals, no assists, 1 yellow card, average rating 6.2. Mila Rashika uh, up 1 to 76. 27 appearances, just the one goal, 4 assists, 7 clean sheets, average rating 6.3. Marcus Tavernier, 36 appearances, 6 goals, whopping 15 assists, 12 clean sheets, an average rating of 6.7. Garan Kual, he made 30 appearances, 7 uh, goals, 8 assists, 9 clean sheets, average rating 6.4. He stayed at 74. Halil Ibrahim Devisholu up 1 to 79, made 33 appearances, 16 goals, 2 assists, and 10 clean sheets, average rate in 6.8. Kalechi Ayanacho is uh, stayed at 78, at 30 appearances, 12 goals, 1 assist, 8 clean sheets, average rate in 6.5. And finally, Therese Campbell up 1 to 77, 22 appearances, 3 goals, 6 assists, 2 clean sheets, average rate in 6.3. And so we can finally take a look now at the summary of A.D. Boothroyd's career starting in Season 1 with Stevenage. You can see here we played 57 matches in this uh, career first season. 39 wins, 10 draws, 8 losses. Um, we actually won the League 2 title this year. Um, you can see that there on the EFL League 2 um, marker. That was the first season. In the second season, we were in League One. We finished 12th, but we also won the Papa John's Trophy. We played 61 matches, won 27, drawn 18, lost 16, scored 90 goals, and then conceded 69. So we conceded a lot, um, but we consolidated our position in League Two. This is still with Stevenage in Season Two. Moving over to Season 3, we stayed with Stevenage and in this one we finished first in League 1 in Season 3. 62 games played, 142, drawn 10, lost 10, scored 118 and conceded 46. And this means then that we were promoted to the championship this is where things get really really difficult and as we jump into the season four there's actually a split so this is the stats with stevenage for the first month or so we played nine won three drawn three lost three scored 19 conceded 18 and the idea here was to consolidate and and try and survive relegation but then in came west brom and West Brom was too much of a lucrative offer for Boothroyd and he ended up jumping ship from Stevenage to West Brom in a bid to try and win another cup before um, you know the, the game finished. So this is with West Brom still in season 4, played 46, won 33, drawn 7, lost 6, scored 98, conceded 32. We finished second with West Brom, gaining them automatic promotion to the Premier League which means in season 5 we'd be playing in the Premier League facing a very similar scenario where we had to try and avoid relegation that was the um, the objective for season 5 you can see here we finished 13th played 51 matches won 20 drew 11 lost 20 scored 72 but conceded 63 keep in mind this also takes into account the cup games as well. It's not just league form. Uh, so this is in total. 
this would have been season five we survived relegation and the aim obviously in the final season season six was to win a trophy you know we we knew we wouldn't be able to win the league but we were going to try and win a trophy um and bow out in style now we played 51 matches won 22 drawn 16 lost 13 scored 71 and conceded 51 now you remember we actually made the Carabao Cup final and we were a fraction so close for AD Boothroyd winning a second cup. That's right, because we won the Papa John's Trophy and we won the League 2 and League 1 titles. Um, so this is the overall summary. We played 337 matches, won 186, drew 75, lost 76, scored 584 goals and conceded 322. Our biggest win was a 5-0 win over Crewe and you can see there his summary. Let me know what you think, whether there's going to be any other managers in the future career modes to match AD Boothroyd. Alright guys, that is it from me. I hope you enjoyed this career mode as much as I did creating it. And um, I'm going to be back real soon on the channel, uploading on a regular basis, as we will start our EAFC career mode with a new manager and a new team. Now make sure you subscribe and enable those notifications, that way you don't miss any updates from our channel. And of course, um, if you want to go back and watch any of the other things from the playlist, that helps me out tremendously. Thank you so much for watching, this is our lad for Set Play Gaming.